Time now for a look ahead at our extended forecast. Temperatures today will be hot once again. We're back to the 90s for Collins, Greeley, downtown Denver. Triple digit heat expected over the southeastern plains from Pueblo to Lamar and up into the mountains. Pretty pleasant. We're back to the upper 70s in Leadville and high 80s in Steamboat, but 90 degrees are expected high in Eagle with upper 90s near Grand Junction. Here's a look ahead at our statewide feature cast. Scattered thunderstorms are expected later on this afternoon, so not everywhere will see rain, but right around 3 o'clock you can see some of that moisture forming into the mountains spreading over the I-25 corridor down near Colorado Springs. Mostly cloudy skies otherwise and temperatures will fall into the evening hours back to the 70s right around 10 o'clock and then overnight lows in the 60s by morning. So skies will clear. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds through midday on Monday and it's going to be another hot day. Daytime highs back to the 90s for tomorrow afternoon. Now the difference for Monday will be more widespread rain possible into the mountains first could see some pockets of heavy rain, very gusty winds in the mountains, then over the I-25 corridor right around 4 o'clock. Best chance here in Denver of seeing some stronger thunderstorms will be into the evening hours. Here's right around 630. You can see temperatures falling to the 70s Some pockets of heavy rain. Even small hail will be a possibility. We will let you know here at Denver 7 of any risks of severe weather as they come. But do anticipate a pretty bumpy next seven days, especially into the afternoon hours, where we'll be talking about thunderstorms and showers. More widespread rain is expected to roll into the state, becoming that soaking rain like we saw in June. It looks like Wednesday through Friday as temperatures take a slight dip mid to upper 80s for highs overnight lows in the upper 50s, low 60s, and will dry out just in time for next weekend.